Hey, what's going on? You're hanging out with The Rockman backstage at Heavy Montreal, and I've got two of the guys from Three Days Grace with me, Matt and Neil. What's going on, guys? Oh, we just, just got here. We're, uh, we're pretty excited about this one, man. Been excited for a long time. Have you guys uh, have you been on this site before? No, I haven't. This no. is my first time, yeah. Have you been to catering yet? I just did, and it was uh, unbelievable. Probably the best catering ever. Uh, we've been touring for 12 years, and that just uh, <laughs> topped it off right there. A lot of choices, yeah. Well, the thing is that um, we, you know we had Oceaga here last weekend, and Heavy Montreal comes right after it. it, uh, it the, the catering is probably one of the stars of the site, and not a lot of people get it unless you're an artist because you don't have access to that. But every band that walks away from here remembers Chuck Hughes, ends up wanting to go to his restaurants when they come back to Montreal. So I'm sure it'll be a stop off for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. That, that was killer. And you know what? I, every time I come to Montreal, some of the, they have some of the best restaurants on the planet are here. We had a we ate at some place last night called. La Richmond, which was amazing, and yeah, it's such a cool vibe. This city's got such a great vibe, man, and we love coming here. Uh, you guys have this thing that a lot of uh, Canadian bands don't have the uh, the luxury of having is major radio success in the U.S. Um, and what I love about you guys is that you you know you've always been present for the last I'd say you know a good 11, 12 years, but you've kind of never gone away. But you've always been at radio with a song that's really, really done well. What's the secret to the formula? Um, I think, you know, not so much formula, but I think um, one of the biggest things is uh, really just um, being true to ourselves and uh, in the writing. You know, we're a very collaborative band. We all write music, lyrics, uh, melodies together. Everybody plays every instrument, that type of thing. And we write about real things in our lives that we go through or the, and the lives of people around us. We've all grown up together, so we go through the same thing, you know. Matt uh, is a new addition to the family, but, um, but he's, you know, Brad's little brother. We've collaborated. He co-wrote on the first Three Days Grace album. He co-wrote on Transit of Venus and stuff. And, and being Brad's brother, he grew up with us and went through all the same stuff we did. So it's just that natural realness. And Three Days Grace fans, I think, see the genuine realness in the music. And I think that's one of the major connections that we have with our fans, which is awesome. Well, when the news came out um, last year of Adam leaving, I, I got to be honest, I was worried for you guys. And then we got Painkiller, and I was like, oh my God, like, this guy's good. <laughs> Not that I ever doubted you, but you know what I mean? When you got a band that's had so much success with, with a really, really prominent and, uh, and good lead singer, and then we get Painkiller at the radio station, I'm like, this is amazing. It's got to feel good when that acceptance happens, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were, we were all a little afraid at first, but... Uh Painkillers, it, it, it's kind of going back to the old sound, which is really cool to, to see. Yeah. Plus, you're naming it after an amazing Judas Priest album, which to me is a good uh, yeah. thing. <laughs> Judas Priest, yeah. We actually just got matching tattoos to, get, to, to uh, commemorate the first. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not sure if it's cheesy or not, but I don't know. Well, it kind of looks like the Dr. Feelgood <laughs> album cover, but who cares? Yeah, Dude, I'm covered in superheroes. What do I Wicked. know? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, being a Canadian, uh, what do you find is different when you go to the rest of the world? Um, you know, well, uh, this is our favorite place on the planet to play as Canadians. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, just just the acceptance and people are just sort of celebrating life a little bit more up here and, and open to different musical genres and stuff. And I find up here a lot of people, yes, they listen to metal, but they'll also listen to some EDM or, you know, maybe even country. You never know, right? Very accepting. So, yeah, very accepting. And, and, uh, and just, you know, I think that... Um, People are just kind of people kind of trust one another up here a little more, and uh, and and you know I don't think people don't have the uh, the the notion that everyone's out to get them so much as other parts in the world. Uh, I was looking on your website. You guys have, I mean, okay, there's bands that go to Russia, and I mean, you guys are like owning Russia. You've got like thirty. How many dates do you have in Russia? Well, we we started with nine, and we've never been there. And we started. So this with, is the first time you guys are going to Russia, and you're playing like eighty dates. <laughs> well, we Not eighty. But we started with nine. And then we, and we put it on sale just to see what we didn't know it was going to happen. And it just sold out like in a couple minutes. We were like, what? And that's the power of the internet, I suppose. So then we just start, we kept adding shows. And now we're playing like deep rural Russia, <laughs> like places that I can't pronounce. Um, so we're bringing a translator. And, and uh, the only Russian word I know is vodka. So we, we're going to uh, need some help out there. Uh, have you ever been to Russia? No, no, this will be the first. This is gonna be a, this has got to be a fun ride for you, right? To get on board this. I mean, it, it's an established it's an established band. You've you've been in a band for a long time as well. But to to, to switch over to a band that's um you know that's that's got a track record to be so accepted with the first single and then to be going to Russia for like nine thousand dates, it's got to be fun, right? Be, be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. You know, I've always looked up to Three Days Grace and I always love their music. So it's it, just to to be in it now is is pretty amazing. Well, I'm really, really excited to see you guys today, and uh, we wish you nothing but success, and we love you at Shome, and uh, we'll keep supporting, man. Right on. Well, thank you for that support. It's, it, it's a pleasure. Thank you. 
hanging out with Three Days Grace backstage at Heavy Montreal.